This episode brought to you by Maddox. Click here to buy now. Buy these shirts or eat shit. Click here. Buy now. Do it. Bicycles save time, money, and lives. It's time to quit bitching about them. Welcome to the best show in the universe. I'm Maddox. Driving sucks and is dangerous, but one of the biggest hazards you can face on the road is hydroplaning on the tears of crybaby <laughs> drivers bitching about cyclists. Every time you go to a mall, campus, or parking structure, and you drive around in circles for hours looking for a parking spot, think of how much worse the problem would be if everyone drove. Ever show up to a crowded parking lot and feel lucky because you got the last available spot? You weren't lucky, idiot. You got the spot because someone decided to ride their bike that day. If these cyclists decided to drive, this parking lot would look like this. So what's the biggest complaint that drivers have about cyclists? It's that cyclists are slow. Yeah, no shit. But thankfully, there's an easy solution. Just turn your steering wheel about two degrees to the left and shut the fuck up. If you can't safely navigate around someone who has the physical footprint of a pedestrian, then turn in your fucking driver's license and stay home. Cyclists don't cause traffic jams, you idiots. You know what does? Cars. Here's the proof. Wouldn't it be great if cities had a special bike-free zone that only cars can drive on? Actually, they do. They're called freeways. They're full of just cars every day. No pedestrians, no bikes, and no crosswalks. Yet somehow, miraculously, there is a traffic jam on the freeway every single day. Also, every cyclist you see on the road means one less person buying gas that your car relies on. All these assholes bitching are saving money because of cyclists. The other complaint is that cyclists are dangerous. So I looked into it, and here's the number of people cyclists kill every day on average. Zero. Zero. In 2013, New York City released some statistics that showed that there were only about 316 pedestrian injuries involving cyclists. Only one was fatal. Cars, on the other hand, resulted in 12,679 injuries, and 177 of them were fatal. Look, I get it. I drive a car too, and I think cyclists can be dicks sometimes. If you're a driver, kill the fuck out and stop taking it personally when you see a cyclist on the road. They're just trying to get where they're going without slamming into a car door that someone might open. And if you're a cyclist, Pull over to the side a little bit and let cars pass you if you can. Also, shut the fuck up and stop telling drivers to get a bike. Not everyone can ride a bike due to physical disabilities, work, or the distance they have to commute. Driving doesn't have to be so shitty, and it's about time drivers stop squirting big salty tears all over the road. It's time to suck it up and start appreciating cyclists. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Maddox. Like, if you think that cyclists have such an advantage through traffic, then get one. You can't complain that they're going faster than you, and then also complain that they're going slower than you. Which is it, asshole?